a senior United Nations official has denounced Saudi Arabia drove coalition air strikes in Yemen which have executed 12 regular citizens. The kingdom is showing an unfeeling negligence for human life. While some may contend that individuals dependably get murdered amid war, the present butcher occurring Yemen can't and ought not be legitimized or upheld in legitimate or moral terms. By Darius Shatamisby. As indicated by Reuters, three ladies and six kids from a similar family were executed in their rest amid the first light air strike led the Saudi drove coalition. Restorative authorities noticed that the most youthful of the youngsters was only two years of age. Ten others were injured, as per the UK's helpful organizer in Yemen, Jamie McGoldrick. In an official explanation, McGoldrick said he was profoundly worried about the Saudi drove activity, likewise blaming Saudi Arabia for disregarding universal law. While these new episodes are as yet being researched by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, they are a case of the mercilessness in which the contention is being led. All gatherings to the contention keep on showing a dismissal for the security of regular citizens and a guideline of refinement amongst regular people and soldiers in the lead of dangers. As I have said some time recently, even wars have rules and such principles must be regarded. Emphasis added. As a general rule, console warriors over the globe pardon this specific problem with the regular justification that individuals dependably kick the bucket in war as though this clears state gatherings of their obligation to not submit mass murder. Related, Saudis celebrate end of Ramadan in deadly style in Yemen. Hostile to media has assembled a rundown of three focuses to clarify why the present butcher of Yemen can and ought not be legitimized or upheld in lawful or moral terms. One people kick the bucket in war, so it's all right. In any war. The obligation is on the state party directing the war to play it safe to keep away from non-military personnel death toll. This involves just military targets what to be sought after and that non-military personnel targets are a gigantic no-no, preferably. However Saudi Arabia straightforwardly, routinely targets non-military personnel foundation. To date, Saudi Arabia has hit well more than 100 doctors facilities and additionally wedding parties, exile camps, sustenance trucks, processing plants, transport courses, farming area, local locations, and schools. Saudi Arabia even focused on the cranes that were utilized to empty compartment ships at the port of Hodda, the main place Yemen can import sustenance however, Yemen is reliant on imports for 90% of its nourishment. Taken together. It shows up this focusing of non-military personnel framework is done purposefully in total infringement of universal law. This is not an instance of individuals kick the bucket in war, in any case, so we should continue doing it. People are biting the dust since they are specifically being shelled deliberately as a feature of a vicious technique to handicap Yemen and push it to the brink of collapse, not on the grounds that they are inadvertently hindering military targets. Despite the fact that this was the situation under Barack Obama, an extraordinary Reuters report has discovered that under President Trump, the pace and recurrence of airstrikes have drastically expanded. A draft UN report has likewise allocated fault to the Saudi drove coalition for in any event half of the youngster losses. This is an American partner. Further, the choice to dispatch a war needs a lawful premise. This is the reason you don't see New Zealand bombarding Fiji, most nations comprehend this essential preface. Wars are, as a rule, just allowable in occasions of self-protection or if generally endorsed by the UN Security Council. This outright war of animosity against Yemen has no UN order at all. Nonetheless, the greatest issue with the method of reasoning that individuals bite the dust in war in any case is the suggestion that this specific war is essential as well as lawful in any case. Things being what they are, this is not the situation. While truly Yemen's leader at Braba Mansur Hadi asked for UN help, an essential factor in this contention that the media declines to feature is the way that Hadi was at that point toppled in a more natural way than what local forces have been endeavoring to impel in Syria since 2011. 
Following the ouster of Yemen's previous pioneer Ali Abdullah Saleh in 2012, Hadi has broadly been viewed as a Saudi mannequin. Hence, Saleh has held a significant part of the dedication of Yemen's military. As clarified by Noam Chomsky in his scandalous book Assembling Consent. Genuine, the Russians were welcomed into Afghanistan in 1979, however as the London Economist precisely watched, an intruder is a trespasser unless welcomed in by an administration with some claim to authenticity, and the legislature that the Soviet Union introduced to welcome it in obviously did not have any such claim. Emphasis added. To this is Saudi Arabia's war, it has nothing to do with us. The United States and the United Kingdom have fundamentally encouraged this war since its initiation. U.S. What's more? UK officers sit in the order and control focus to give help Saudi air strikes. They approach arrangements of targets and give airborne fuel tankers and a huge number of cutting-edge weapons. As anti-media additionally clarified in January. Notwithstanding frequently ramble striking Yemen, murdering innumerable regular folks all the while, the U.S. has additionally given knowledge to the Saudi Drove coalition that has been accumulated from surveillance rambles flying over Yemen. In arms deals, the U.S. has made a flat-out executing, actually. To such an extent that in December 2016 the Obama organization was compelled to end an arranged arms deal to Saudi Arabia due to the mounting regular citizen loss of life. It is difficult to get a correct figure on the measure of arms deals to Saudi Arabia, yet the way things are, it was well finished $115 billion amid simply Obama's eight years as president. Tailing one famous ethereal barrage a year ago that killed more than 140 Yemenis and harmed no less than 525 others at a burial service parade, the United Kingdom declined to slice its arranged arms deals to this savage warmongering state and has since affirmed over £283 million of arms deals in the months following the memorial service assault, generally $366 million USD. Thus, Donald Trump gloated about a $110 billion arms deal to the kingdom prior this year, it appears, in any case, that the measure of this arms bargain was totally misrepresented. Presently, the U.S. authoritatively has troops on the ground in Yemen, as well, and their worry is obviously not to free the Yemeni individuals from the brutal and genocidal conduct of Saudi Arabia. The U.S. Furthermore, the U.K. are empowering this war, and it is therefore that attorneys have been cautioning the U.S. it could turn into a co-combative in Saudi Arabia's immense rundown of war wrongdoings. 3. This is Iran's blame. Regardless of authority publicity, Iran has almost no to do with this contention. As the Washington Post conceded a year ago. However as, the author, contended in a current article in the May 2016 issue of International Affairs, the Chatham House Diary, Tehran's help for the Houthis is restricted, and its impact in Yemen is minor. It is basically off base to assert that the Houthis are Iranian intermediaries. Emphasis added. This was additionally affirmed by UN specialists in January of this current year who were cautioning essentially about Saudi Arabia's criminal conduct before expressing. The board has not seen adequate confirmation to affirm any immediate extensive scale supply of arms from the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran, despite the fact that there are markers that against tank-guided weapons being provided to the Houthi or Saleh strengths are of Iranian make. Emphasis added. As a rule, Iran's military spending is entirely low particularly contrasted with the U.S. or, then again Saudi Arabia. Conclusion In Rundown, this war is not simply, has essentially no legitimate premise, and is wreaking total devastation on the general population of Yemen, the Arab world's poorest nation. The World Health Organization, WHO recently declared that the quantity of individuals experiencing cholera in Yemen has bounced to 500,000, and no one is doing anything advantageous to help contain this issue. The U.S. What's more, its partners are straightforwardly in charge of empowering this war and its superfluous savagery.
and Iran's culpability for this calamity is near insignificant. In spite of this, anybody would be unable to discover a prevailing press outlet that would concede the greater part of the above, particularly one that would frequently upbraid and question the approaches that have prompted this helpful fiasco.